Hi, this is Dr. Ivo Warlop from The Gate Guys. We've had a lot of posts this week on proprioception. I thought we'd look at a short video which exemplifies some of the abnormalities we see in gait, sometimes related to proprioception. We remember that our ability to maintain being upright in the gravitational plane is dependent upon three systems. The visual system, the vestibular system, and the proprioceptive system, which includes the joint and muscle mechanoreceptors. As we look at this video, let's examine the five factors that we would like to talk about. One, a wide base of gait. Two, increased amplitude of movement. Three, an increased progression angle. Four, the need for assistance or help. And five, slowed movement speed. Let's look at some video. Notice in this 11-month-old some of these characteristics. We see a widened base of gait for proprioceptive accuracy. We see an increased amplitude of movements. Notice the movements of his arms as well as the length of his steps. We see an increased progression angle, the right foot. We'll see the need for assistance. He's much more comfortable pushing his shopping cart around. And the speed of movements generally is slowed down. So the next time you're thinking about a gait problem, think about how proprioception may be involved, our ability to coordinate ourselves in space. Think about the five factors, a widened base of gait for stability, an increased amplitude of movement because we don't have stability, an increased progression angle to create a more stable base in a larger triangle, the need for assistance because we don't have the stability we need, and a slowed speed of movement to help the nervous system to compensate well. This is Dr. Worlop. Take care. Have a great day.